That's why I will give the stage over to a very distinguished guest, to Warren and Lieberfarb. Warren is chairman of his own company, Warren Lieberfarb and Associates, but he's also a veteran of 25 years of Warner Brothers. So he is um, someone who knows the industry, as only very few do, but even more, he also made a great effort to push the industry into a new age, the new age. He was called, rightly so, by Variety, the father of the DVD, and uh, how he applied technology to the cultural situation and to the business situation actually gives a very good example of how invention can turn or has to be turned into innovation. So a great innovator as well as a great um, pra practitioner. As I know not many who have that much experience and he will tell us about solutions that enable cinema to avoid the problems that the music industry faced. Rethinking Hollywood, film and cyberspace. Warren, please. Thank you, Gundorf. Um, it's really a pleasure to be here. I particularly want to thank Petra um, Mullen for her kind invitation and the boldness of her group at uh, medium board Berlin to undertake this type of an event many people would assume that a film festival has as its principal purpose the appreciation of the art of cinema but with an industry going through such significant transformations that digitalization has brought about Creating a forum such as today's Bernali keynotes is an extraordinary and very effective means of disseminating information about the future of how cinema will be distributed. I think you'll find that as the day goes on, there is going to be a convergence a very often used word when it comes to digitalization of the speaker's comments. I already detect it. It was done, ironically, without any preparation. Minister Newman's com comments, uh, the professor's comments, and mine will converge much as the PC and TV are converging due to digitalization. When I was uh, invited to speak here, a subject was put forth to me, Film in Cyberspace, Rethinking Hollywood. It's a great title, but like many great titles, its power lies more in the images it suggests than in the facts it presents. Film in Cyberspace, what is that? For the purposes of this talk, I will take it to mean the digitalization of cinema. When I began my career in the entertainment business, was at, which was at Paramount Pictures in 1968, the only digital technology that was being used were the punch card systems driving the computers to render paychecks. It certainly wasn't used for making movies. Movies were shot on film, edited on film, special effects were optical, and audio recording was analog. The weapon of choice for editors was the moviola. Negatives were still cut by hand. Personal computers not only weren't used, they didn't exist. Today, so much has changed that I should probably begin by defining the very term digitalization, which seems to have three distinct identities in the film industry. First of all, digitalization itself is the conversion of information, be it audio, text, graphics, animation, or um, motion picture material, or photography 
to binary code of ones and zeros so that computer technology can process that information. The applications in the cinema industry fall into three domains, production, display, and distribution, all of which I will touch on today. The digitalization of film production is for the most part complete. While most motion pictures are still shot on 35 millimeter film, for legacy reasons, um, many are shot on high definition video, and leading filmmakers such as George Lucas and Michael Mann have embraced shooting movies in high definition video, and I believe other directors will soon follow. Clearly, lower budget films are shot on high definition which is to say in a digital format, and that has become the norm for such works. Editing is nearly all electronic,